Hi people, today we have a MacBook Air treating me 2008 year. How here is installed Mac OS X Snow Leopard 10 6 8 Old Operation System. I will first install Mac OS X El Capitan and then install Mac OS H Sierra. Officially, this MacBook Air supports the Mac OS 6 line operation system. Using the patch, we will install Mac OS H Sierra on it. When installing an unsupported operation system, you also need to read the list on the forum since some hardware will not work. In our case, just the MacBook Air which supports the patcher system. Almost everything is ready. I copied the user's personal data made a backup on a separate hard drive. I also have an installation hard drive which the Mac OS X L Captain operation system. Turn off the MacBook Press the option button and hold it until you see a selection of boot volumes. Select USB and boot from an external hard drive. Before installing Mac OS 6 El Capitan, you need to change the date to 2016 year. Then open the disk utility, select the internal SSD, click Ares. It also recommended they check the smart SSD for broken sector, bad sectors. Smart green, which means that the SSD is healthy. Run the installer from the desktop. Vibrate the SSD disk. Enter the password of the current operation system and the installation will take place automatically. Quickly configure the user. Download the official Mac OS X Hitch Sierra installation package and patch version 2.6.2. To install Mac OS Hitch Sierra, you need to change the date to 2018 year. You will also need a USB flash drive at last 8 GB of memory. MacBook Air has only one USB port. Boot from the internal SSD insert USB flash drive run the patcher. In the patcher itself, specify the patch of the Mac OS image. Select USB flash in the right ISM. Wait for some time when the installation flash drive is ready. We have created 
and installation flash drive. Now you can turn off the MacBook Air. Turn on the MacBook Air. Hold down the Options button. Select boot from the USB flash drive. On the left side of the screen, select the disk utility. Left the current file system and click RS internal SSD disk drive close the disk utility run the Mac OS installation after installing the system it will reboot and show a cross set out sign on the screen I turn on the MacBook Air again and boot from our installation flash drive. Now open the bottom, treat them look for your model in the list to check the boxes that you now see on the screen. After selection your model, you need to Specify the internal SSD drive and click patch. Then click restart and wait. The cross it out for bidding sign disappeared when loading. Are you already standard setting up a new user creating an account accepting the agreement? Great. So we install it macOS H Sierra on it, but there is a new problem, Wi-Fi does not work, it is not present in the list of devices, so we will disassemble the MacBook look for a new Wi-Fi model from the model 2012 year of release. After removing the button cover, you should first and fasten the battery cable. What does its native model look like in the case and this one I took from the model a uh, 1200 and 700 and H. According the shame and by Pinning the contacts, it fits. Now we'll turn on and check it out. This Wi Fi model that we installed is working. And now you will need to find a way to secure it inside the case. The MacBook gets very hot, which is why we will also replace the thermal paste. We use a cotton pad to remove the old thermal paste. We clean the remains with a tool brush.
I use thermal paste Arctic MX4. Everything is ready. Now you can build a MacBook, turn it on and check now the Wi-Fi itself works. I turn it on the modem mode on my iPhone and connect it to it now. I will open my YouTube channel and run any video for verification. In general everything is good, the internet works stably. MacBook can be given to the onware. Bye, see you.